Welcome to your Lehigh Valley Health Network Virtual Maternity Tour. Thank you for considering Lehigh Valley Hospital for this special time in your life. Being prepared is very important, and we're excited to show you around the birthing facility at our Cedar Crest location. This location is home to the best and most comprehensive healthcare in the region and is conveniently located off of Interstate 78 in Allentown. When you think you are in labor, it is important to call your OBGYN provider before making a decision to come to the hospital. When you arrive, follow signs for the hospital entrances. There are two parking decks available. To use the one closest to your entrance, make a left at the three-way stop in front of the main entrance. To get to the Family Birth and Newborn Center, use the Lehigh Valley Riley Children's Hospital entrance, located to the left of the main entrance when facing the front of the hospital. Use this entrance even if you are in active labor. If needed, wheelchairs are available directly inside the lobby. When you enter the Riley Children's Hospital, go straight to the guest services desk to get the required visitor passes. All visitors, including the father or partner, must get a new visitor pass each day. Anyone age 18 or over must have personal identification, such as a driver's license, to obtain a pass. Anyone who does not have an ID will have their photo taken. All visitors under the age of 18 must have an adult with them at all times. Overnight accommodations are provided for the father or partner only. After getting visitor passes, go to the end of the lobby and make a left. Continue around the curved hallway to the Red Jangle Pavilion elevators. Take the elevators to the third floor to get to the Family Birth and Newborn Center. To get to labor and delivery, exit the elevator and make a right. For your and your baby's safety and protection, all units in the Family Birth and Newborn Center are locked and monitored with security cameras. Check in at the desk. There is a waiting area for friends and family. A hospital staff member will let you into labor and delivery through the main door. For your security, the door is locked at all times. In labor and delivery, dad or partner has 24-hour visiting privileges. We recommend no more than three support persons in the birthing room during labor and childbirth. And no children under the age of six may be present during childbirth. For cesarean births, one support person may be in the operating room. When you arrive at labor and delivery, you may be directed to one of our private perinatal care triage rooms where your labor status will be evaluated. You may be placed on a fetal monitor and examined by a member of our care team. If the team determines that you are in labor, you will be transferred to a private labor and childbirth suite. At this point, you'll want to be sure you've come prepared. Bring only what you need for your stay. We recommend preparing two separate bags, one for labor and childbirth and one for after delivery. And don't forget to install the car seat. Our birthing suites are spacious, private rooms with a birthing bed, fetal monitor, reclining chair, and bassinet for the new baby. We also have various options to help manage labor discomfort, including private showers, reclining chairs, and birthing and peanut balls. In the event of a cesarean birth or multiple births, the operating room is located in the center of the U-shaped labor and delivery unit. A neonatal intensive care unit with the highest level of care is also available at this location. Our Level 4 Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, with its expert care, is located to the left when getting off the Jandal elevators on the fourth floor. Once baby has arrived, we want to be sure everyone is secure and safe. One numbered bracelet will be placed on mom's wrist, one on dad or partner's wrist, and one on each of baby's ankles. In addition to these bracelets, a security sensor will also be placed on one of baby's ankles, and an ID bracelet on the other ankle. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is strongly encouraged after childbirth. Don't forget, dads and partners can snuggle too. Breastfeeding is also encouraged during this golden hour.
About two hours after delivery, the new family will be transferred to the mother-baby unit on the fourth floor using dedicated elevators inside the unit. Like labor and delivery on floor three, the mother-baby unit has a waiting area for family and friends. Again, a single secured door gives you access into and out of the unit. Dad or partner has 24-hour visiting privileges. We recommend no more than four visitors at one time in the mother-baby room. Remember that young children do well with short visits, around 20 minutes, and cannot be left alone with the new mom. Young visitors may not stay overnight on the mother-baby unit. For baby's health, encourage all visitors to wash their hands before holding baby. Mother-baby rooms are private. Each has its own bathroom with a private shower, a comfortable, adjustable bed, a sleeper chair, and a bassinet for the new baby. Baby's bassinet will come with undershirts, blankets, diapers, dry wipes, and soap. After mom and baby are checked into the mother-baby unit, now is a good time to bring in the after-delivery bag and car seat. The bag should include items for mom and baby's stay. In the mother-baby unit, mom will be given a menu to call and order food between the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Guest trays are available for dad or partner for a small fee. Mom and baby's healthcare provider will visit daily, usually sometime in the morning. Be sure to ask questions and share concerns with your healthcare providers and nursing care teams. Our staff take pride in providing care and comfort during your hospital stay. Support and education are available on the mother-baby unit for both breastfeeding and bottle feeding families. We encourage baby to room in with the new mom to help mom become familiar with feeding cues and newborn behaviors. Early each morning, baby will be bathed and have a weight check. About 24 hours after childbirth, the nurse will obtain the required Pennsylvania screening tests and any other scheduled blood work. There is a getting ready to go home class on the mother baby unit. Be ready to go home by 12 p.m. on the day of discharge. Dad or partner should practice putting the new baby in the car seat and making adjustments well before this. Call 1-888-402-LVHN for a car seat safety check before baby is born. Thank you for taking the time to review this tour. We encourage you to take advantage of our prenatal resources to help you prepare for your birth and caring for your new baby. This is an exciting time, and we are honored to partner with you.